Fiona, why is this so close to your heart? Why is this an important one for you? It's important for, for so many people, actually, but personally for me, both my mum and dad had Alzheimer's. My mum started showing signs in her 50s, like, like Joy, and my dad in his early 60s, um, because a lot of people think it's an inevitable disease, almost, that you get with ageing. It's not. It's a disease. There are four, about four diseases that contribute to what we call dementia. Alzheimer's is the most common one, which is why we often call it Alzheimer's disease. Mm. So, and and for, for you, uh, when did you notice that your, that your mum was showing the signs? Well, funnily enough, one of the big signs was at Christmas. Um, I was actually four months pregnant and Martin and I went to stay with mum and dad and I was going to tell them and it was all going to be wonderful. And we got there, mum was really cold and there, there was... There were, there was no food in the house. It was Christmas, yeah. um, and, and I just... this is bearing in mind. This is someone who loved Christmas. Oh, she would. She'd be the sort that you know. She used to phone. She used to phone me to say Happy Valentine's Day, and I say, Mum, for goodness' sake! But she'd have the Christmas tree up in November. <laughs> And she'd be talking about it from June onwards, so she loved every advert that came on. Mm. <laughs> um, so it was so unusual, and she was very cold, and her eyes were dead, and she was crying all the time. And Dad was beside himself. Well, little did we know he had it as well, but he was at an earlier stage, and she was at a later stage. And then on Christmas morning, there were really bizarre presents. Like my youngest brother had an orange sort of ladies' jumper. Mm. Yeah. And, you know, it was... And all the signs were there. And you, you had some, some truly awful times. I mean, your dad nearly got overlooked, as you said there, because everybody was so focused on your mum. But yeah. there was a particular moment in 2009 when... It, was he found by the police? He was found by the police because he was, he was driving. And, you know, he... And, and even towards the end, he was asking where his car was because he'd always, always driven. <laughs> um, and, yes, he, he was driving erratically up the street. And the police, he got hold of him, breathalyzed him. He, he, he didn't, you know... He hadn't been drinking alcohol. They bunged him in a cell, told no one. And the next moment I saw him was we, we were visiting Mum and he came stumbling in and I said, Dad, where have you been? He said, oh, I've been in a police cell. And I said, why? And this, we didn't know he had Alzheimer's mm. at this point. And he couldn't tell me why. I phoned up the police. They couldn't tell me because of confidentiality. So, oof, it's been... Well, I can't tell you some of the things that have happened. And because really it difficult. does have oh. an impact on not just that central person, but it's like a boom. It gets everybody yeah, all the I, way around. Well, I still have nightmares about it because you never think you've done enough because you simply can't do enough. And it does it, it, it. There's ramifications within the whole family. You know, my brothers didn't do a tenth as much as I did, and you start resenting. I've never fallen out with them. I love my brothers and we're very close, but you, you know, resentment comes in. Families are blown apart by mm -hmm. it because there's and always one person. Some people cope better than others. Yes, and some people do cope better than others. But what do you think of the ad? Because that's it is quite controversial. It's a bold thing to make Santa sick. Well, that's because it can happen to anyone, and this just shows it can happen to anyone. You know, my mum was only in her 50s, Joy's only in her 50s. It can happen to the Prime Minister, it can happen to Donald Trump, it can, you know, it can happen to anyone. Well, Joy, you were diagnosed, as we said before, at 55, so very, very young, and actually the symptoms of it, probably eight years before then, you say you kind of convinced yourself that you were just a bit clumsy, but all the signs were there. Um, we, we saw you last two years ago um, in February. How, how are things since then? How have things changed? They've deteriorated quite a bit, if I'm honest. Right. Um, I've noticed the difference in um, being even more clumsy. Right. Um, yeah, it's, it's deteriorated. I, I find it very difficult to recognise people's faces um, and what organisation they're from. Yes. Um, I do a lot of research myself and people come up to me and say, hello, Joy, and I'm thinking, oh, my goodness, who are you? Yeah, yeah that well, must have been really difficult for you. very frustrating. Yeah, Very of frustrating. For my grandchildren, they've grown up with Nanny doing silly things and Nanny saying silly things, so they are very fortunate, as I see it, um, to have been grown up, growing up with the awareness of dementia mm. and what it's about. So I have no um, negative thoughts about them seeing it. Obviously, we need to be sensitive with the youngsters. If they're not aware of dementia, um, you know, I think sensitivity is the, is the key. Mm. How, um, how long do you think it'll be, Fiona, before 
discussing it like this, um, seeing it as a part of life, hopefully a part of life which one day we'll get on top of and be able to uh, stop or at least slow down. Because we've been so bad with mental health, haven't we? Absolutely. Well, we've been talking mm. about it and talking about it. Things are happening and, you know, there are positive signs with research now. And this ad actually is all about hope as well. Although Santa has dementia, um, there's a bit of it which shows the cogs in his head are broken and that if they can be fixed, mm. there is hope. And you know, with all this research going on, that's why money is needed for research, to give everyone hope. For more of the same, just click here. And don't forget, you can subscribe for even more of these amazing videos exclusive to our channel.